Welcome back to Akron Summit's franchise here. Week 7, and we are currently 4-2 and two on the year. Coming off arguably our worst loss of the season, though. Allowing 42 points to the Pittsburgh Steelers of all teams. Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, they had some kind of offense going, or perhaps we just had some kind of defense going. Whatever the case may be, though, we are looking to rebound today against the 3-2 LA Rams. Still 6th place in the AFC, 6th seed in the playoffs as of right now. 2nd uh, place in the AFC West behind the Kansas City Chiefs, who must have had a bye week last week as they have played one less game than us. And luckily for us, the Chargers and the Broncos are not doing very well. So, uh, you know, we're in a good place, but definitely got to stack some W's here to kind of keep that momentum going. Uh, but today, we have to game plan for the 3-2 LA Rams. Also got a press conference to attend. Wonder what that's about. And also have a surprise free agent signing that I'm going to show you guys today. We got a lot to get into. Cue the intro, man. Kareem Hunt, now a member of the Akron Summits. If you guys remember, he was just sitting in free agency, the highest rated player there. And I haven't really been too impressed with Alexander Madison's performance. He had one good game, really. Aside from that, though, it's been kind of a struggle. So I feel like bringing in Kareem Hunt is the right move. He's star development. He's fairly young-ish, not really, but, but kind of. And... Really here in Akron, it's going to be running back by committee because I did work Madison into some sets still. He's definitely still going to see the field. And Amir Abdullah is our third down back. But we got Kareem Hunt in, I would say, a majority of the sets. But you will see Madison in some. You see Abdullah there uh, as our third down back. And Madison will be in some of these sets. There he is set there in the shotgun. So, you know, all three of our main guys... For some reason, not Zamir White. He's probably going to be a trade target uh, at some point. Believe next week is the trade deadline, so we may look to ship him off. But hopefully, adding Kareem Hunt will give us a spark coming out of the backfield. See what this press conference is all about. Probably going to be asking me to uh, calculate the amount of yards we've had on third down or something that I would have no idea <laughs> about. These Madden scenarios are kind of weird, but the fans are curious about, okay, well, the upcoming trade, de trade deadline. Do you have any plans to upgrade the roster? And I mean, I I do. I kind of do. And trade for an 80-plus overall player. There's actually one that I saw there when I was going in to sign Kareem Hunt. Not going to spoil it for you guys. We may be looking at that in the next episode. But there is somebody that I really feel could help our ball club and may not be terribly hard to get. Um, so we'll have to take a look at that. And also now we have another thing to do with the trade deadline. We'll see. Going to be texting our GM or something like that. Saw clips from a press conference. Yes. What position group are we looking to trade for before the deadline? Defense. And again, I have a guy at mine. Uh, going to be in the secondary. So I'll leave that for next episode. But We'll hopefully be able to execute that and the fans and the team will be happy that we brought in an 80 plus. Actually, now it says 82 starting defensive back. And if we're successful, our team will earn 10 morale and seven staff points. Yay. Still two more weeks before we have our full healthy tight end room back as Michael Mayer coming back from that compound foot fracture. Going to be really good to have him back and taking a look at the Rams. They are not going to have Puka Nakua a uh, practice injury it looks like turf toe and he'll be out one week also trey white so those are two really really big injuries for la and i'm very happy to not have to deal with trey white or puka nakua if i'm being perfectly honest and hopefully that will uh help our odds here as we're looking to stay in the hunt here for a playoff spot here in week seven uh i would say this team's definitely overachieved so far and i would like to keep it that way so if you guys are fired up for some more akron summits content and you're loving this series so far please like the video subscribe to the channel help me get now to 2,000 subscribers and without further ado let's get on down to sofi stadium and get ready for the game here come your summits in their away whites really really love these jerseys i'll probably throw the akron zips alternates on 
again here sometime soon. And if you guys don't know, if you've been living under a rock, or if this is your first time watching this channel, I made 32 custom teams. There's a video in my SFL playlist if you want to check them out. Akron Summits being one of those. But uh, talking about the Puka Nakua injury here in this game, if you want to know how big of a factor Puka Nakua really is for this team, did you watch Thursday Night Football, Vikings and the Rams? I mean, my God, having uh, him and Cooper cut back, especially Puka, I mean, he just, he just went off. Went off on that Vikings defense, and that was definitely... Definitely a fun game to watch. Trey Tucker going to get this thing from the 26. And out will trot Garner Minshew. Started off really hot. Uh, he was up there leading the league in passing yards, but kind of starting to cool down and now also starting to throw more picks as that touchdown interception ratio not looking as pretty as it once was. There's number 22, Kareem Hunt, now on this team. And let's put him on an out route. I might actually... Look to uh, to target him on this route here. Nope, Wolf we'll go to Trey Tucker, who was pretty open there in the middle of the field. He is going to be stopped up by Darius Williams. And Trey Tucker continuing to be a pretty good impact. I, I really like, you know, our wide receiver group with Devontae Adams. Obviously, he's going to be, you know, one of the main ones. Um, but Brock Bowers, Jacoby Myers randomly got uh, upgraded to a to a superstar back in training camp, if you guys remember that. So happy with what we got, but maybe looking to, you know, target somebody in the draft. Kareem Hunt did not have a good burst of speed as Ernest Jones is there to get him for no gain. But not a very good carry for Kareem Hunt in his debut on the Akron Summits. Sorry, that was actually Madison. Kareem Hunt's number 27. Madison is 22. So that, but, but same thing. Kareem Hunt. Now I can officially say it. Kareem Hunt, not a very good carry in his Akron Summit's debut, and, you know, not really much we can do here on 3rd and 13, except for, you know, hope that uh, Jacoby Myers possibly gets open, maybe putting Devontae Adams on a curl and custom stemming this route to go up a little bit might be the move, but maybe Jacoby Myers gets open. We're going to try it. I did lead that. Oh, Myers had a shot. That was a laser by Garner Minshew. Led that thing beautifully. But Jacoby Myers got popped there at the end. Wasn't able to hang on to it, unfortunately. So uh, three and out start this contest. You never like to see it. And hopefully our defense is up to stopping Stafford and not Puka Nakua, but uh, the rest of these L.A. Rams here today. And here's the 36-year-old not playing like a 36-year-old. 12 touchdowns to only one interception. Having a, a vintage Matthew Stafford years a year, going back to all those years you know, in Detroit with uh, Megatron and whatnot. He's playing just like that version of himself. So let's see if uh, he and Kyron Williams will tear us up today. I definitely hope not, but Kyron Williams, always a difficult guy to stop and bring down. And his first run, very opposite of what our first couple runs were on our drive as Kyron is able to gash us for seven. And really, really got to watch uh, he and Cooper Cup here in the backfield and these you know the rams run a lot of those type of plays with with cup you know and gadget sets and whatnot there's a nice stop there by divine diablo and cup actually goes backwards losing a couple on the play guess pass here on a third down see if we can get stafford and these rams off the field i will have uh tyree wilson just kind of play in this side of the field and oh how in the actual heck was tutu atwell not did how did he not go out of bounds like I thought for sure he was going to go out of bounds there, so I, I guess I wasn't as locked in on making the tackle as I probably should have been. And, may, I mean, it kind of looked like he did step out of bounds. I don't think that's worth a challenge because I, I highly doubt that we would get it, and it's probably just, you know, Madden graphics, but um, he, I guess he didn't. Uh, it was very close. I thought right there is where he might have stepped out, but... That's uh, questionable. We'll just leave it alone. Stafford coming out. Shotgun here. Ball is on the 32 in a little tight formation with Kyron Williams back there also. And there's Robert Spillane. It's a fumble. And we recovered it as well. I think that was Tyler Higby, the tight end. Did he ever even have possession of that ball? Maybe we get a booth review. He definitely wasn't down. Uh... Or actually, he might have been. I, I think that we're going to get a booth review, and that one's going to come back. 
Maybe I'm surprised. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Surprised, yeah. Okay, well, way to get my hopes up, Previous EA. Thank review. you. And we know that a booth review on a fumble is always, always, always going to be overturned. Yep. And there you have it. So, uh, well, I was, I was, uh, happy for a moment and then Madden just ripped my heart out. That's okay. Second and eight though. Good down and distance for us. Stafford going to target Higby again. And our rookie DeCambrian Richardson was there to make the tackle, but another third down. Um, if any of you guys watch this, any of my series is really with, with any sort of regularity, you would know that we, I, me, us, however you want to put it struggle in third down situations we seem to always always let teams pick it up and they are going to pick it up there as that was a nice pass by or a nice catch by demarcus robinson and just like always we cannot stop a team on a third down send a little heat at stafford here this could uh easily be a run to kyron williams as stafford is in the single back cup in motion as well and it's gonna be a sack max crosby was back there and also somebody else as well to Cameron Richardson. But that's really good to see because Max Crosby, I mean, he's not going to really get credit. It might be a half a sack. He actually kind of pushed to Cameron Richardson into Stafford for an extra exclamation point. But great, great defense there by the Summits. I mean, we're guessing past now for sure. And I would love Max Crosby to get some heat off the edge. He really hasn't had a, a great season for us. Going to be a pass to Cooper Cup, but only going to be caught there for about two or three. And a big, big third down here. So I just really need my Summits to buckle in. And let's just, let's just not, not allow them to pick this up. Third and 16, we have to get him off of the field. Crosby coming in with some pressure. Bruh. And I swear to God, dude, I, I, oh, come on. I mean, what is even life? What is even life? I just don't understand it. We even had Max Crosby and some guys getting in on some pressure there. I tried to lay a hit stick on Higby, which I definitely shouldn't have done. But like, if a team gets in third and long against me, it's just guaranteed to be a pickup, it seems like. It's all right, though. We are back here on a new drive, and I see my first read here might just be Devontae Adams up the seam. Oh, yeah, baby. Adams, you surely have to hang on to it. That was kind of like the same route that uh, Jacoby Myers ran earlier, and he wasn't able to hang on. But Devontae Adams, I guess, you know, a little bit more, more sure-handed, I would say, than Jacoby Myers. So nice job picking that up. We uh, definitely needed that. And let's see if Kareem Hunt can make a little bit of noise here. He just, oh, he's breaking a tackle. Okay. I like that. Kareem Hunt with a powerful run and picking up a nice first down for us. I do like the fact that Adams is getting pressed. So that might be my first look. And you know what? We're going to go. How about a P.I.? Ah, oh, dude, Adams got bumped. Adams got bumped there for sure. 100% John Johnson the third there to stop us. No P.I. though, no, uh, you know, illegal contact or anything of that nature and not even going to go to replay. Doesn't really matter. So hopefully with a screen pass here, though, we can pick this up. We do got some pressure coming in and Madison ooh, going to be fourth and in inches. You guys know what I like to do on fourth and in inches. We are in plus territory as well. Not kicking a 53 yard field goal. That is not happening at all. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of this. Not a huge fan of this. But Minshew, put your head down, brother, and fight forward. He does. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. We're looking to knot this thing up at seven apiece. And we will see how it goes. And I feel like my tight end attack got nerfed. Like I can't, I can't roll out the way that I'm, I'm used to doing, which uh, I don't like at all. And you gotta be kidding me, man. That's going to be a fumble from Minshew. <laughs> Luckily, Cody Whitehair is there to pick it up. Uh, that would have been very, very bad. But yeah, I mean, like I usually roll out on the tight end, uh, tight end attack there. And I just kind of feel like it's not, it doesn't do it anymore. I don't know. Have to do some further testing and some further research. But initial observation, I don't like it. Now we are backed up way behind the sticks here on second and 22. So maybe, oh, Bowers open in the middle. Look at Brock Bowers. 
He had a monster game the last time we played Pittsburgh. I know that we did ultimately, you know, lose that game. But Brock Bowers did play very well and kind of picking up right where he left off. Really want to pick this up, gents? Third and five. And we got to tight end drag here. Bowers and Bryant will probably be the first targets. We're going to go to Harrison Bryant and he's going to be a little short. Okay. Um, decision time. I don't really want to kick the field goal. And yeah, the coach is even saying go for it too. But I want something like inside zone. Can I get that, please? What do I have in my favorites? You know what? Maybe RPO. Maybe RPO is actually a good a good thing to call here. I kind of like that. I don't like that. And really hoping that Jacoby Myers can, can pick this up. Hopefully that that corner doesn't doesn't go with him. Uh, he is, but a great block set by Devontae Adams. Did you guys see that? If not, I got to go back to replay. Devontae Adams doing all the dirty work. Had Devontae Adams not made that block, I'm going to show you. Maybe you'll see it right here. That probably would have been a pick six. I'm going to go to replay because that was, I mean, look. Uh, receivers that get out there and make blocks. I want you to watch Adams on this play. So here I'm, I'm already I'm already choosing to throw to Myers, but look if Adams is not there, I mean that is a probably an interception and a, a house call. We got nobody else back there, but instead it's a Jacoby Myers touchdown, and what a way for this Summit squad to respond here. Gotta make sure we uh, boot this thing through with Carlson, which we will. Now we got sevens on the scoreboard, about five and a half minutes to go until halftime. And Cooper Cup is the uh, receiving yards leader here in this franchise. Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase, Keenan Allen, and Rashi Rice also not too far behind him. Um, but, you know, Cup has been a little quiet so far in this game. But this is only the Rams, what, their, it's only their second drive. I mean, it's been, it's been long extended drives for sure. And as I say that, oh my God! What? I mean, what? I don't even know what to say to that. So Tyler Higby catches a big one. And Cooper Cup just, I, I don't know. I mean, he's faster and better in our secondary. That's about, about all I can say about that. Trayvon Merrick never even stood a chance. And a little uh, indecent exposure going on there in the end zone. But a one-play touchdown from the Rams you never like to see it and our defense was playing great to start this season but last couple weeks kind of taking a few steps back all right new drive for us here and we will go back to Kareem Hunt on the ground who has a little bit of blocking he's four for 14 nice pickup of five uh you know hasn't really broken away for for a big one yet um I mean I probably still will Try to get him involved quite a bit. However, we're going to go mesh by here on second and five. Looking at Myers and Bowers probably the whole way. It's Myers. And just go ahead and slide. There was a big pop waiting to happen there by Ernest Jones. And Jacoby Myers getting involved a lot in this one. Got Amir Abdullah in the backfield now. Like I said, this is definitely going to be running back by committee. I'm not, you know, sold on any of the guys as of yet. I realize Kareem Hunt, we, you know, we just got him. But I would say really like feel like Amir Abdullah's played a little bit better than Madison. I mean, Madison did have one really good game. He had like, well, I forget, 140, 150 yards, something like that. Um, but just been rather inconsistent. So second and four, let's please pick this up, guys. They're leaving Trey Tucker open, or at least he was for a moment. And this has been really the uh, Trey Tucker and Jacoby Myers show to start out with a couple other guys like Bowers and Adams. <laughs> Making a big catch in there as well. Back to Kareem Hunt we go. We are into uh, Rams territory, which I do like to see. Nice hole there from Hunt. Okay. So uh, Hunt averaging a little over four yards per carry, which is really what you what you want from your running back. And here on second and one, I mean, we'll stick with the running game, but this time it is Madison. So, you know, these guys are kind of fighting for a, a starting position, I would say, is what's going on right now. And, oh, Madison... Running game starting to get going. I love to see it. We got this thing all the way down to the 27. Coach is, is saying TE attack. I will go for it if I'm able to, depending on. Yeah, we're going to have a shot for sure. So let's see what we can make happen here. Oh, Bowers open. There we go, baby. Brock, get into the end zone. Thank you. 
The first time we tried TE attack, it resulted in a fumble that uh, our offensive lineman was luckily able to pick up. Second time, it works like a charm. So Brock Bowers getting us into the end zone. But with the way that these uh, Rams have been throwing deep bombs or one play touchdowns and, you know, they get the ball back after halftime as well. Defense going to have to buckle down and make some friggin' plays. All right, no more deep bombs, please. I even had to back our guys up a little bit because I just do not want to see what I have and see. It's going to be illegal touching from Robert Spillane. That's so annoying, man. That is so annoying. Not going to matter anyways, though, because Kyron Williams is going to get it. I know it was uh, illegal touching. I called it. I mean, I'm back there playing coverage, and a guy just runs into me. Like, I realize, you know, as the defender, like, the offensive guy is pretty much always going to get a little bit more favor, I feel like. But that's just that's just ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. We're going to send a little bit of pressure here. And DeCamrian Richardson, though, I am going to have him get out of it. And there's Cup. Nice tackle there by Marcus Epps. Stafford already at 192 and two touchdowns. All right, got to watch here. The Rams got uh, guys coming out of the backfield. It's Cup and Tyree Wilson there waiting for it. I had a feeling. That's why I used it up on Wilson. I had a sneaky suspicion with Cup lining up in the backfield like that that it might be a, uh, you know, just a little dump off pass to him. And I'll tell you what, man, we're going pressure again with the blitz. Same little formation here, so I'll probably have uh, Tyree Wilson drop out again. I see Cup there. Yep. There we go, baby. Come on, Tyree Wilson. Pile driving Cooper Cup. That is a defensive coordinator mindset there. It was the exact same formation, and the exact same thing happened. Actually, worse. And that's a huge win for the defense. Going to force the Rams to bring out uh, Joshua Cardi here to uh, make a long kick, it would appear. And that is no good. So we keep the Rams off the scoreboard. Defense tightened up. We got a minute to go down here and take the lead before we head into the locker room. Single high safety, so we'll streak Devontae Adams. I mean, I'm probably, though, content just looking Bowers' way. Uh, I really just want to kind of get into... Oh, God. Oh, God. I knew it. Oh, and of course, no one's going to be able to catch him. No one's going to be able to catch Quentin Lake, the backup safety. That is... Just a good play. That's just a good play by the Rams. I mean, that was, that was also me just already having it in my head that I was going to target Brock Bowers. And that sucks. We could have went into the locker room up. Pick six to the house. Minshew now at, uh, what, nine picks on the season? Mm -hmm. That one was pretty dicey. And I may see if I can get Devontae Adams in single coverage or something. But aside from that, Probably just going to go into the locker room down, unfortunately. It's time we might get single coverage. Not 100% sure, but got to watch that blitzer off the edge. Uh, we are going to get single coverage. Can Devontae win? Can Devontae win? He dropped it again. Okay. So two drops by Adams, which usually he's a pretty sure-handed target. We are going to go into the locker room down by seven, and the Rams do get the ball as well. Our defense is not playing good. They had a good drive that last drive right before halftime. Aside from that, though, we've allowed way too many big plays and probably going to have to look at defending the deep pass. And as far as on offense, may try to get the running game going. This is a big game for us, and the Chiefs are dominating the Niners, so it looks like they will continue to be atop the AFC West. Defense definitely needs some answers here because the Rams have pretty much had their way with us. I would say, and it's looking like that's going to continue as Demarcus Robinson, who I think he caught two touchdown passes in that game against Minnesota. He was uh, looking like a you know younger version of himself out there. And here is that same formation from earlier with Cooper Cup in the backfield. So going to do the same thing. Going to have Tyree Wilson look over. Yeah, I mean, it's just they keep going to Cup in that situation. And of course, it's a fumble, but it goes out of bounds. And that's okay. Loss of four. But until they cook me, you know, which which could very easily happen. If if I see Cooper Cup in that type of formation, I'm probably just going to do the exact same thing. Now, this time they got a full back in. So we'll use her up on Divine Diablo and see if this is going to be a Kyron Williams run. It will be. And Diablo is there to get him. So Rams going backwards on this drive. But... 
it's third and long. I mean, do we actually have what it takes to get them off of the field here? We really haven't been able to uh, hardly ever, I feel like. So it's going to take a lot. Let's uh, use her up on, I uh, guess, a defensive lineman. I don't know. That's an underneath throw there caught by Tyler Higby. And we finally force a team off the field on a third down. Call freaking Guinness because that might be first time that's happened. And uh, it's a good start for our defense, man. Now we got a chance to drive down the field and hopefully tie it up. Maybe Amir Abdullah can get us some good field position. Uh, kick returns and putt returns never really work well for me. And that's on full display right there. This might be a little risky, but uh, not sure if I want Abdullah. Abdullah is going to be the runner. Trey Tucker is going to come in motion here. So maybe Abdullah can pick up some decent yardage. He is not even going to get a single block. Not a single block. Colton Miller could have set a block for us there. He had no interest in doing that. So uh, appreciate you, Colton. Thank you. <coughs> Second and one. Got to work down this field here, man. So hopefully we can do something positive here Bowers oh man he keeps getting open in the middle of the field just like he did last week and I think right now we go back to the ground game although coach is saying screen and I like that Kareem Hunt as I was kind of saying earlier so well at that screen game at his time in Cleveland I think the Browns should have kept him as a matter of fact uh, of course they did not and again no blocking to work with so Offensive line kind of selling for us in this game a bit. We may have a blitzer off the edge there. So if that's the case, we got to uh, actually no, no blitzer and Jacoby Myers. Can we lead that for him? We sure did. Jacoby Myers having a great game. He gets this thing all the way down to the 50 yard line. And now I think it is the time to see if Kareem Hunt can uh, do what we brought him in to do. Elevate this running game, have some sort of consistency there out of the backfield uh because up until this point we really haven't let's send harrison bryant in motion that does shift the line a bit so maybe a hole opens up for hunt he's gonna try the outside and that's actually a decent little game picking up seven on the ground now we got alex madison in for this one might have a hole there mercedes lewis really good blocking tight end is actually our fullback and madison gets very close but they're going to say third and one. And this might just have to be quarterback sneak time. I don't really like doing that from the one yard line. But even if we only pick up inches, uh, you know, we will kind of have two cracks at it. And I think Minshew can get it. He is very nice. Keeping the drive alive. Three minutes to go. Balls on the 39. Let's find the end zone. Police. Second and seven now. Two minutes to go till the end of the quarter and I that should have been an interception by Ernest Jones I did not mean to throw it to Bowers I meant to throw it to Tucker and boy he almost made me pay for that go TE attack again it worked earlier and uh see what that safety does back there he is and not really gonna do anything but Bowers is open again and Minshew just barely got that pass off wow he was about to get creamed so Garner, 207, two touchdowns, does have that one pick, but I mean, look at that, man. He was about to get creamed by the rookie out of Florida State, Brandon Fisk, but we do end up completing the pass to Bowers, who uh, is just having an awesome, awesome season. We're supposed to get him like X amount of targets, and with him being injured for a few weeks, that is going to be tough to do, but we might be able to do it, and I'm actually kind of content I was going to look for Trey Tucker on the RPO, but I kind of, well, maybe I should have done that. Although, Kareem Hunt showing signs of life, breaking tackles, turning what could have been disastrous into a healthy gain of six. Got to find the end zone here. Chaps will come out, mesh spot, and maybe Brock Bowers or Jacoby Myers gets open. It's Myers, bang, second touchdown of the afternoon. Jacoby Myers playing a very big role in this offense, and Garner Minshew now with his third touchdown. So he's having a pretty good bounce back game. Feel like he was kind of quiet in that uh, loss to Pittsburgh. But Jacoby Myers got open on the drag and pending the extra point. We are going to tie this thing up. That was kind of off. But Carlson is going to drill it. 21s on the scoreboard. Defense played good last drive. Let's just try to duplicate that again here. 
before the end of the third. Stafford actually coming out empty to start this one. Okay, very interesting. Sending a man in motion as well. Crosby off the edge, not going to get there, and that's going to be complete to 2 2 Atwell for a gain of nine. And uh, yeah, Max Crosby, I talked about him last week, and uh, he just, I mean, he's got like maybe a sack or two this season. And Max Crosby should have a sack or two a game, you feel like. That's kind of what what you expect. Let's go pressure. I don't know if that's the right call, but we're going to rock with it. Stafford sending cup in motion, going back the other way now. And uh, Kyron Williams is not going to get that ball. It's a one-handed grab by Demarcus Robinson. What is going on with these deep shots? What is going on with these deep shots? I know Stafford's got a gun. He's got a cannon. Uh, but, like, really? I never get an animation like that. Look at that one-handed grab by Demarcus Robinson. Luckily, we were able to stop him with Jack Jones, but he got it all the way down to the eight-yard line. That will be the end of the third, 21-21, but you got to figure that the Rams are about to change that right now. Got to tighten up, bend but don't break, maybe hold them to a field goal or something. 3-4 blitz, uh, kind of seems like the right call here. We'll see what Stafford does. It's going to be Kyron Williams, and there's Max Crosby finally making an impact. Not getting a sack, but getting a great TFL. And that will push the Rams back to the 11-yard line. you love to see that. And I'll tell you what, let's come out zone, but let's audible into a man. I got to watch Cooper Cup here on the left side, so maybe I have uh, Tyree Wilson. Oh, it's actually going to be a run Damn. to Williams. I'll tell you what, though. Tyree Wilson is earning his pay today. Five tackles, but I'll bet you four of those are TFLs. Like, he's – and most of them <laughs> on Cooper Cup as well too so but this is where we know we've had our struggles on a third down they got to get it to the end zone though so just protect those sticks and hopefully we can hold them to a field goal i'm dropping back max crosby i know that seems crazy to do but i just gotta have another defender there wow can a def can a receiver ever drop a pass i mean ever like can they ever drop a pass demarcus robinson playing like he played on thursday night against the vikings and we had some good coverage there as well. We had uh, Jack Jones, or no, I'm sorry, not Jack Jones. We had Marcus Epps or somebody out there, and Nate Hobbs, rather. But the Rams do strike, and we got to, I guess, turn this thing into a shootout now. Minshew Mania, you played good today. Three touchdowns, and, you know, that one pick very well could end up being the ball game because it could be tied right now if not for that. So hopefully Minshew has at least... One more. We're going to need two drives, really, to, you know, to end up uh, end up being in the lead. But let's worry about this drive here. First and foremost, Devontae Adams. Oh, look at that. Has some room to run off the edge, too. Devontae Adams making defenders pay in open space. And a great, great catch and run getting this almost down to midfield. We've got Kareem Hunt out here. I would like Mercedes Lewis to be an extra blocker on that left side. We know he's a good one, and that time, uh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell by that play. Mercedes Lewis is probably, in terms of longevity at least, one of the best blocking tight ends out there. I've uh, been doing it for a long time as well, and we brought him in to play fullback. So there you go. Second and nine, six and a half minutes to go in this game. Gotta make something happen now. I mean, they just continue to leave Brock Bowers open in the middle of the field. He's got seven catches for 112. So even with him missing all that time, I forget what his goal is. I want to say it is uh, like 70 receptions. That's a goal that we set for him at the beginning of the season. He may yet get that. I mean, he's he's been Minshew's favorite target for sure. Uh, Kareem Hunt, let's turn this into a ground and pound game. Or not, JK, LOL. Cream Hunt still averaging about 4.2 yards per carry. And now it's going to be a third and 10. So nothing really to do here except just, uh, you know, try to hit a shot play. I mean, there's <laughs> there's Adams again. But is he really the way that we look? I don't think so. We're going to actually try. Oh, God, that pass is so off target. We're going to bring in Daniel Carlson for a long one, a 50-yard field goal. And I am not good at kicks at all. So I got to be quiet right now. That one might be good, though. That is, I think. Yes, it is. So, at least we put up some points here, and, you know, we're in a position now where if we can just stop the Rams, which, other than a drive, like, that really hasn't been 
something that has happened so far today. But if we could stop the Rams here, we could get the ball back and put together a last-minute game-winning drive. That's obviously the ideal outcome, but, you know, if we can't stop the likes of Cooper Cup and freaking Demarcus Robinson, Tutu Atwell, all them, Tyler Higby, we're going to be looking at four and three on the season. And will they be in run mode, two clock mode? Doesn't look like they will. I mean, they're coming out shotgun here, so that's, you know, seems to me like that means they're going to be aggressive. And speaking of aggressive, not going to send Divine Diablo because we got Max Crosby in coverage. So I need Divine Diablo to just sit out here on this side of the field. And it's Demarcus Robinson again. He is making us pay. I tried to go for a strip animation, missed the tackle. And I mean, in two plays, the Rams got it down to the 50-yard line. And that's crazy to me that uh, I see this all the time. Like, teams get so aggressive in Madden when they have the lead, and there's like less than five minutes to go. And that's typically when you see teams put the brakes on and hand the ball off to their running back, you know, try to chew clock. And they don't really do that in Madden. Like, I rarely, rarely see them do that. They may run the ball here, but oh, I need some uh, coverage there on... 2-2 Atwell, so we'll have uh, DeCamry and Richardson play some man, and can we get back there to Stafford, please? I mean, he's got all day to throw. Somebody get back to him. Oh, I need that pick. Oh, come on. I, I, I'm done. I quit. I mean, can I just have nice things? That ball was almost picked there by Trayvon Merrick, and I mean, it just bounces up in the air. And it falls right into the hands of Robinson. Like, or I'm sorry, that was actually even Jack Jones. My apologies. They showed Trayvon Merrick being sad, so I thought that that was him. But, like, what else can you do in that situation? I did nothing wrong in that situation. It was good defense by Jack Jones. Broke the pass up, and the ball just squirts up into the air and falls right into the arms of, uh, of, uh, what, you know, I forget now. Is that, is that, is that Devontae Adams? Is that Tyreek Hill? Is that uh, George Kittle out there? No, it is Demarcus Robinson. Not much we can do now other than try to score and get an onside kick. So that is definitely the MO. Let's just give it to Brock Bowers. I mean, he's got nobody out there picking up a first down. And clock is, I mean, you know, obviously, yes, it's a, it's a factor, but it's not as much as of a factor as you would think. Because really, I mean, ideally we can score and get the onside kick and then, you know, uh, score again. And we don't want really any time left out there. We're just going to give Devontae Adams a shot. I mean, he has to win on one of these. I mean, can it, can it bounce into the arms of him like it did for Demarcus Robinson? No? Okay. Three minutes to go here. I mean, look, I see it could be single coverage with Adams, but do I even, even attempt that? I mean, really, it's just Brock Bowers like... Nobody's putting a body on him, and he's just carving him up on that kind of a uh, Texas route there. He's been doing that, doing that all this game, it seems like. But, you know, we're going to need a shot at some point, and that may be right here with Trey Tucker. Let's see. It is. Come on. Lead that thing. Thank you. Oh, Trey, he might even have the speed. And you know what? We might not even have to do an onside kick here because we scored so quick. And Trey Tucker, two touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, two touchdowns. We got all three timeouts. We're going to go for two as well. And this is kind of the time where I like to go Y stick. Um, going for two is big because if we get the ball back, oh, we would only need a field goal. But let's just pick this up first. Adam should have it. He does. It's a three-point game. But we have to make a stop on defense. And that has been what has been plaguing us all game uh if they go you know run first i'm a little bit more confident but teams don't really seem to ever want to do that in madden and if stafford sits back there in the gun and you know tries to pick us apart it could be night night time for us i'm bringing in the three four just because uh i'm gonna assume that it's a run if it's not it's not but we're gonna assume that it's a run to kyron williams it is and you know what we can't even stop that we do got the two minute warning which is cool but if we can't even stop the run, man, like, we're pretty much doomed in this game. Now, they're coming out gun, however, I'm still sure it's going to be a run to Williams, which it is, and we're there to meet him in the backfield. Okay. So that uh, glimmer of hope starting to get a little bit brighter now. But third and three, I mean, the playbook is wide open for the Rams. They could go run, pass, whatever. 
and I just don't know necessarily how we stop it. Uh, I mean, I feel like zone hasn't worked at all. So we are going to go, well, I'm trying, trying to go man coverage. And uh, we'll have Tyree Wilson drop out here just to play an extra defender. And, I mean, come on, man. Trayvon Merrick, just put your hands up. That was thrown, like, at his ass cheeks. Pause. First of all, pause. But I'm just saying, have some awareness. And these receivers for the Rams, they just do not drop the ball. All we can do here is guess run up the middle. Like, we're going to guess run up the middle. It's an outside run, but Divine Diablo there to stop him. And that's going to be our last time out. So, I mean, you know, if we do get the ball back, I, I believe that we probably could. But there would only be a few seconds left. And we just have to... Um, all we can do here is just guess run up the middle. Maybe if I can even dead him and get a chance to freaking do it. Luckily, we do stop Kyron Williams, but let's see, 40. Yeah, it would be close. They might even, they shouldn't pass it in this situation because if they throw an incompletion, which is not going to happen. I mean, let's be honest. It's Stafford. Uh, he, he's not throwing incompletions in this game, but it could still actually be a run to Kyron Williams. It's not. It's actually going to be a pass. Wow. Okay. My head is underwater. And... Why would they ever drop it? Because they don't. Cooper Cup with a dagger catch, and that is going to be the crushing blow. Going to serve us up an L in this one. Well, at least we did make it competitive, unlike that Pittsburgh game, which was pretty much a blowout. This one did go down to the wire, and with a stop there on third down, with it being a pass play, you know, that could have been the, the shot that we needed. Only needed to get in field goal range, too. But, you know, we are going to drop to four and three. So still above 500, still going to be second place in the AFC West. So, you know, it's not the worst loss. No loss is ever good. But this one doesn't, you know, cripple us too much. And as long as we can uh, pick up a win, that's now two straight. We started out winning like three in a row. And that's now two straight that we've dropped. So, you know, again, I feel like we were overachieving at first, but I liked it and I want to get back to it. So Matt Stafford, I mean, I, I I mean, come on, bro. This dude did not throw a single like I don't know if I've ever seen that in Madden before. A hundred percent completion. What are we talking about? Twenty-two attempts, twenty-two completions. Like defense just sucks in Madden. Spoiler alert if you guys didn't know that. Minshew played really good too, though. 324, four touchdowns, had that one pick, but he was also very accurate too. Uh Kareem Hunt. I mean, 4.2 average is not bad, but uh, we, you know, we kind of had to stop going to him. We had to turn it into a bit of a shootout. Madison averaged 4.2 yards per carry, and also Abdullah averaged 3.5. So at least the yards aren't going to be there for the running game, but at least there was a good yards per carry average. Brock Bowers continues to kill it. Nine catches for 139 and a touchdown. But look at this dude here. I mean, that's like. I don't know the yardage he had against that uh, Thursday night game against Minnesota, but he had two touchdowns, and that's kind of similar to what happened in this game. Cooper Cup did good. Higby did good. Trey Tucker and Jacoby Myers. Uh, I thought Trey had two touchdowns. I guess not, but Myers did. So good job by our receivers, but defense, you know, no interceptions. We needed to have one of those. Max Crosby gets a half a sack and three TFLs. So silver lining, at least there is that. And uh, got to just try our best to bounce back from this one next week. Brock Bowers with the upgrade. Yeah, I would sure say so. I would sure say that he deserved it. We'll go possession here, try to get him a little closer to the scheme fit. But this guy, I mean, I think is I think he's superstar uh, dev. I, and I don't think we've revealed that. Oh, he's star. OK, I thought he was superstar for some reason, but. I mean, he's got it all, 82 overall. I mean, 81 playing up to 82 as a rookie. Uh, he and Michael Mayer, you know, if Mayer can ever get on the field, that is. Those, that's our future. And oh, wonderful. We play the Kansas City Chiefs next week and then the Bengals following that. And the Chiefs are, of course, yeah, and the Bengals are five and one. So we play the third seed and the fourth seed in back-to-back -back weeks. Right now, the Jets are behind us, and I guess they had a bye this week. So we're sitting kind of comfortably in that sixth spot, but two really, really tough games coming up and uh, might want to go stock up on the Vaseline and the Tylenol. But that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, 
Peace.